Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. I'm in Williamstown, Massachusetts again, running at Sloan Farm, which is this really beautiful preserve. And I'm thinking a lot, because I did a race yesterday, the New England Five Mile Championships. I've been doing a lot of training, putting in a lot of miles, a lot of quality work, a lot of speed work on the track, and I had a certain vision of how the race yesterday was going to go, and it didn't happen. After the race, People asked me, you know, what happened? Was it your diet? Was it your lack of sleep because I didn't sleep the night before the race? Uh, was it your training? Was it no rest days? Was it this? Was it that? And I thought about it for a minute and rather than give a litany of excuses as to, you know, why I didn't perform as expected, I simply said, you know, I don't know. It could be a number of different things. I'm really not sure. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to make up stories about it. I'm not going to make up excuses. I'm, I'm just going to say that, uh, you know, it didn't happen today. It wasn't there. Rather than make up a story based on little to no evidence, just let it go. So as I'm running along here at Sloan Farm, I saw this trail that said cave trail. So I'm like, ooh, cool. And I came to this spot where there are some caves, some marble caves. You've got schist, which is a very hard rock in front of me. And you've got marble, which is a soft rock behind me. So the water runs along the schist and everything is good. It's out in the light. It's experiencing the forest and the beautiful green glow of the beech, maple, and oak trees. But then suddenly it hits marble and marble is soft and water can erode marble. Water is very good at eroding marble. And it plummets underground. And this poor water, it, it, it's no longer in the sun. It's no longer basking in the glow of this beautiful forest. It's now deep, dark underground where it's cold and there is no light and there's no possibility. But the water doesn't give up. The water doesn't quit. The water doesn't make up some sad story about how its life is over and just sit in a puddle somewhere. The water keeps flowing until eventually it breaks out through the other side somewhere, maybe miles away. Who knows? But it comes back into the light as a spring as a well. And maybe that's why we call healthy people well, because their possibility, their energy, their joy, their whatever it is, their purpose, comes springing out of the ground, comes springing out of the mouth, out of their eyes, whatever. But well people don't make up stories when that possibility goes underground. The sick people, as soon as their purpose or possibility goes underground, goes into the cave, they give up, they make up stories, they quit. They say, oh, my training doesn't work, or my diet's not working, or my relationship's not working, I can't see the light, I can't see the forest anymore, it's horrible. But the well people just keep flowing through the rock. They erode the rock, they erode the rock, whatever obstacle, whatever challenge is in front of them, they keep working on it, even though they're in the dark, even though they can no longer see the trees, even though they look around and they don't see possibility, they have cold stone around them. They just keep flowing and keep flowing and keep flowing and eventually they well up hundreds of yards or miles away. They spring forth with new purpose, with new possibility and with this sense of, holy cow, look at what I just went through. Look at what I just accomplished. I can do anything. So rather than making up stories about the race I had yesterday, I'm going to just flow through the marble I'm going to flow through the darkness for a bit and just keep going, just keep flowing, just keep training, just keep doing what I do and not making up stories about it. Because I know that eventually I will break through and I will see the light again. So if everything's going great and you're in the sunlight, awesome. But when you bump up against that marble and you start to dip down and you go into the cave and you go into those dark places, don't give up and don't make up stories. Just keep flowing, just like the water. Eventually, you will come out the other side, and you will be well. <laughs> All right? See ya!